Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Global Domain 2.0. Today we'll talk about Kyoto Protocol. The Kyoto Pro Protocol, the first international treaty to set legally binding targets to cut greenhouse gas emission was adopted 25 years ago on 11 December 1997 in Kyoto, Japan. The agreement which entered into force in 2005 and was ratified by 192 parties has since been superseded by the Paris Agreement but remains a historic landmark in the international fight against climate change. The Kyoto Protocol is an addendum to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, a global environmental agreement whose objective is to stabilize greenhouse gas concentration in the atmosphere at a level that would prevent dangerous anthropogenic interference with the climate change system. The Kyoto Protocol was an agreement among developed nations to reduce CO2 emissions and greenhouse gases to minimize the impacts of climate change. The protocol applied to six greenhouse gases. The first one is CO2, methane, nitrous oxide, hydrofluorocarbons, perfluorocarbons and sulfur hexafluoride. The Kyoto Protocol was adopted on 11 December 1997 due to a complex ratification process. It entered into force on 16 Feb 2005. Currently, there are 192 parties to the Kyoto Protocol. In short, the Kyoto Pro Protocol operationalizes the UNFCCC by committing industrialized countries and economies in transition to limit and reduce greenhouse gas emission by agreed individual targets. The convention itself only asks those countries to adopt policies and measures on mitigation and report periodically. The Kyoto Protocol is based on the principles and provisions of the convention and follows its annex based structure. It only binds developed countries and places a heavier burden on them under the principle of common but differentiated responsibility and respective capabilities because it recognizes that they are largely responsible for the current high levels of GHG emissions in the atmosphere. In its Annex B, the Kyoto Protocol sets binding emission reduction targets for 37 industrialized countries and economies in transition in the European Union. Overall, these targets add up to an average 5% emission reduction compared to 1990 levels of the five years to, from 2008 to 12, the first commitment period. One important element of the Kyoto Protocol was the establishment of flexible market mechanisms which are based on the trade of emission permits. Under the protocol, countries must meet their targets primarily through national mayors. However, the protocol also offers them an additional means to meet their targets by way of three market-based mechanisms. International Emission Trading Countries that emit less than they are allowed to cancel this amount to industrialized countries that produce more than they should. In this way, it becomes economically beneficial to reduce emissions. Clean Development Me Mechanism Joint implement Implementation With both clean development mechanism and uh, joint implementation, countries can invest in an emission reducing project and gain credit points. Of after becoming a signatory in 2013, Afghanistan became 102nd and last signatory of the Kyoto Protocol. As of 2022, there, there remain 192 signatories.